For my money, Astana have got the coolest bus in the Pro Peloton. Now, it might be turquoise, it might not be called the Death Star like uh, Sky Pro Cycling's team bus, but it does have the only spoiler of any team bus in the Pro Peloton. Now, that clearly is an important performance advantage when the team hits the mountains. Let's go see inside. Up here, obviously, is the bus driver's zone. There's also a little seat down there where often you'll find uh, a member of staff sat there, but also I've heard that there are a few pros who actually really like sitting down there, and it's their special treat if they've done well in a race to sit up there. Now, I forget which pro it was. I think Paolo Bettini, perhaps, was his, uh, it was his present for winning the World Championships, where he actually not only got to sit there, but he actually got to drive the bus home. Uh, clearly, the uh, obligatory set now there, uh, often set so that the buses don't have to go through the finish line, which is obviously uh, a bit of a bonus. We've got seats for nine riders. Grand Tours, you need nine-man teams, so everyone has a seat. Moving further back, this is like prep zone for races. So what the guys will do is they'll sit here when they're getting radioed up, when they're getting embrocation put on their legs, particularly important in the early season spring classics. Now you can see obviously the radios are charging up uh, after a day's use. That happens every single day religiously. Um, in here obviously the Swaniers can, can put all their stuff out in the morning. And then here you've got a selection of uh, energy products for the riders. We've got science and sport gels, um, energy bars. So that's all nicely put away. Underneath, this is a particularly important drawer. These are all the bandages and wound cleaning things. So for something like the Tour de France, especially the first week, unfortunately, that is gonna get a lot of use. Um, further back, we've got the kitchen area. Again, this is for the soigneurs, really, but this, this is incredibly important. This is the coffee machine, which gets absolutely hammered uh, every day. Let's see what they've got. Uh, Café Tilly, yep, nice. Over here, they've got the fridge, obviously. Uh, this, I've been told by the team, is particularly good. San Pellegrino Chino, which is nice. They also have a Kazakhstan apple juice sponsor, so that's in there as well. Apparently, uh, that's cracking stuff. Now, further back, we've got the changing area. Slightly weirdly, it's a three-man shower. Apparently, only one at a time, but there you go, three showers. Toilet in there, no word on how many toilets are in there, hopefully just one. Then, further back, this is the chill-out zone. So, this is where often, actually, the team leader can come and escape things. So in the Giro d'Italia, for example, when Vincenzo Nibali was in the pink jersey, this was kind of his space where he was cordoned off from the press just so he could come and relax. We can obviously see the paraphernalia from the, uh, from the team time trial here. So everyone's aero helmets are still out here. Uh, there's another TV in here. Uh, apparently, uh, at the moment, during the Tour de France, Yanni Brakovic comes in here, listens to some chill-out music. So this is very much like the sanctuary of the bus. Now, under here, this is where the team stores a lot of their stuff for the stage starts. So, uh, for example, to keep the fans away, particularly important at something like the Giro d'Italia, for example, where the buses are open to the public. These obviously uh, will, uh, will create like a temporary fence. And then there's uh, also plastic screens in here that they can pull out for time trial stages in particular. Uh, they've got all their chairs. And then this little beauty is the, uh, the bus driver's own personal bike. So lucky chap, he gets to bring that with him. They can store team bikes on here. You can see obviously there's a rack there, but uh, at the moment for a Grand Tour, they don't need to do that. But for smaller races, then, uh, then they definitely will. So on this side of the bus is all the utilities. So they've obviously got the, uh, the dryer and the washer. Uh, some teams put this in their team truck, but Astana have got it in their, in their bus. Uh, further back, we've got the water heater for the showers, um, and then obviously the, the wastewater and the fresh water, and then under there, there's more plumbing, I think, than in my, uh, in my entire house, actually. Cavendish's bike. Today made a little bit of history, because it's the first time that a bike with hydraulic brakes has been used in a road race. Now, Ben's going to talk us through it a little bit. So, he's using the hydraulic rim brakes. That